Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor sniper is just not having a good time. Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing Dota 2 by Creeps vs. Heroes. It's time for Creeps vs. Heroes. Lane Creeps have deadly attacks that deal massive damage against heroes. But taking damage from Creeps gives heroes a chance to take control of their mind and make them even stronger. Good luck and have fun. Thank you very much to Onyx for making this mode. So in this mode, the lane creeps all have a buff that makes it so whenever they attack a hero, they just deal a massive amount of damage. But whenever they attack a hero, the heroes can trigger a passive ability that they all got that then, if it triggers, takes control of that creep. And when you take control of a creep that way, the creep becomes magic immune and gains some bonus stats. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, it is weird. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into the game. Cool, we got ourselves Faceless Void, which actually seems like a great hero for this mode because we can heal off the damage we take with Time Walk. And then also once we get to the really late stages of the game, we can heal maybe backtrack, maybe backtrack. I'm not entirely sure how much damage the creeps are actually going to do, but I suppose we will find out. Let's have a look at this. Mind control. Every time you take damage from creeps, you have to have a 15% chance to take control of their minds for one minute. Controlled units gain bonus stats and they are magic immune. Only one creep can be controlled at a time. So I can control creeps using mind control. Mind control. <laughs> we'll see. Hello there, Mr. Sniper. Uh, oh. Okay, alright, I'm leaving. Sure, like whatever, I'm gonna just go over here. Like, that's fine, I'm gonna throw down a ward. Throw down a quick little ward. And uh, then we're just gonna get ready for the lane, and in the lane we're gonna try to get hit a bunch, I guess. How much damage do these creeps actually do? Let's have a look at them. Deadly attack. 20% of the target's your current health. So... Quite a lot, but we can take four hits. Well, let's say three hits. Well, why is the like in here? <laughs> Hello, friends. We can take some hits and... Careful, careful, careful. Heal that off, and we didn't get it. So that's a little unlucky. Did I get one? That's mine, that's mine. Oh yeah, get him, get him. Wait, what happened? Did they steal it? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh! So, they can get the same one that you dominated and are then using to attack them. They can steal that exact one. So that's very unfortunate, I guess. I mean, it's not too bad because it's still a... Hello. Nice bash, leap. Ooh, I'm dead. Yeah. I took some creep damage. There was like this one creep that got a few hits and that's not good. We don't want that. So is there anything I can buy to like increase my survivability? Not really, right? Okay. Because like, it's just a percentage of our maximum HP. There's nothing that I can do to really increase that or make that easier. Evasion. Yeah, but I think we probably need to get hit. Yeah, we need to actually take damage from the creeps. I guess we can get like a heart. We just get regeneration. That might be okay. Hello. And we should be able to secure that. Ah! No! Oh, you don't die. No, you do die. <laughs> I guess you kind of... I'm not sure if you actually died. I died to this one, which is controlled by a hero, but I don't know if you died to these guys. Huh. Do jungle creeps also have this effect, or is it just lane creeps? That's a big question here, isn't it? Because jungle creeps feel like they would be a bit easier to... You know, avoid... At least. Do they have it? No, they don't. Okay. 
So I suppose we just gotta kind of keep praying that these uh, lane creeps be kind to us. Got a chrono. Wait, what? <laughs> I just checked! Does it work on all creeps? So I assume the lane creeps have the damage boost, but it just also works for jungle creeps? Okay, I have a... Thanks for buffing my creep. Thank you. I'm just a small faceless boy, but I have this giga chat creep now. So that should be good, right? Hello, friend. Yes, you can use Chrono with summons. This was very fun if you uh, do it with Necrobox. Damn it! There's a creep chasing me down. <laughs> no, you can use the Chronosphere with like Necrobox and stuff. Or there was the Legends of Dota build where you would just get a whole bunch of summons and then you use Chronosphere to make your army like attack a target. What's a Necrobook? I, I, Necrobook is an item that used to exist in Dota. Um, I have no idea, however, what a Necrobook free is. That is very strange, Mary. It's a very strange thing that's in the two tips for some reason. So I assume I can also dominate one of these guys. Yeah, you can just get these as well. This feels not intended, but it's much easier. It died? I'm confused. Where did it go? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hello. Good. I do wonder what happened there. Does the creep stay on its team? Is that what's happening? Like, you still... Like, even when the creep is... Yeah, I need to aggro these. Attack me, come on. Careful. Alright, more backtrack duration. Hello. Man, that Aghanim's charge sure is underwhelming. Give me a bash, there you go. Nice and simple. Oh, Juggernaut. That's okay, we can take that. I actually build pretty stats heavy, so. Like, we can take some hits. Oh my god, never mind. There's a creep. No. Alright, get this. Get this. Come on. No, my creep isn't doing enough. Is it current HP? Oh, it's current health, not max health. No, my creep is not. No! <laughs> okay. Okay, no, this is not working. It's not working. Let me buy a Helm of the Dominator. Because they should still have that buff, right? Like that ability? Bash. Come on, there you go. I was ready to chrono there, but preferably we don't have to. So this is a creep that I just control now. And it should also just have that, yeah, it just has that deadly attack ability. So that's pretty good. I wanna upgrade that? Come on. Let me have it, let me get- oh my god, nope, nope. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, I have it, I have these two. Okay. Let's bring him in here, bring him in here. All right, go get him, boys. <laughs> there they are. I need to be a little careful here. We lost that creep because it runs out pretty quickly. But overall, it's still pretty good, I would say. I think that was a success. Managed to get the sniper killed. There were some hiccups on the way there. 
And we can definitely mind control the jungle creeps as well, which feels not as useful, but we can do it. Good. Ooh, these void... Uh, what are they called? Uh, not void spirits. What are they called? Forge spirits. Sort of a similar sound to it. Alright, I have the upgraded Helm of the Dominator now. Time more cooldown, that sounds good. Just chilling up here with my very cool, very cool friend. Oh, I have a Forge Spirit, that's funny. <laughs> Let's go, Forge Spirit. Alright, that's fine, we'll just sleep out. There you go. I gotta keep this guy a little safe. I don't want my creep to go down just yet. So... Having that ranged creep... That's very powerful. Right? Because that's just 20% HP... On uh, a nice little ranged attack there. <clears throat> What do we buy next? Roshan? <laughs> you can't dominate Roshan, can you? That would be very silly. We want to buy... I think a Disable. I'm just going to get Agonims. That way I can reliably catch people out. And that seems pretty valuable, the way this game has been going. Hello, friend. Ooh, that almost hit. Crazy. There's my creep. Is this also my creep? Oh, cool. You guys come down here. We'll grab a Chronosphere. And then we are working on our Aghanims. We're pretty close. I've gone for... Oh, hello. Do we go for that? No. Probably not gonna be able to catch up to the to the very very fast storm spirit, right? Because that's kind of a speedy hero. Oh, <laughs> oh, that poor sniper is just not having a good time. So this has a lifespan now. Maybe not the best creep to dominate, but I can steal it after they dominate something. Like, if they passively dominate it, I can just, like, yeet it. Or, sorry. Yoink it. There you go. I found the right meme word. Does the 120 bonus attack speed apply to my summons? Was it died? Why did it die? <laughs> Sometimes they just seem to die randomly. I have no idea what's going on with that. Okay, I have this guy. I kind of want to get like a... Refresher or something. Agonims. Not Agonims, uh, Octarine. Lower the cooldown... Of my ultimate. Because that's where I really utilize the creep's full power. Oop, gotta go. No, there's my creep. It is doing damage. <laughs> Get him, creep. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> it was literally mid-animation. I think I'm gonna get Octarine Core. I am mostly just enabling my creep. That's my entire strategy, right? My I, I disable the enemy. My creep gets a few hits in. Which gets the enemy to no HP, and then I end up closing out the kill with my super sick gameplay. Oh shit. I don't think I need to chrono here. No. Uh. Do I chrono this? I definitely chrono this. I definitely don't chrono this. Hey, double kill. 
Octarine Core, very good. Always very exciting to just straight up buy an Octarine Core. <laughs> May let's make the Chrono bigger. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for Backtrack here, it feels a little bad. So I have one of these now. And... Uh, we're gonna just see if we can... Maybe catch somebody? I wanna get a ranged creep. Ranged creeps are way better than mana creeps. No, it died, it died. You see, it, it, it just... I don't know why it just died. It, it just sometimes seems to die. Also, yes! Turns out this talent does apply. Will you play normal Dota while Miki is gone? Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. One second, I'm getting right around to you, my friend. I gotta just see if I can deal with this first. Good. I kind of want to make this a Legends of Dota build now. Like, if we summon a zoo and then Chronosphere with the 120 attack speed talent, the only problem with it, of course, is that the zoo will have a very, like, that combo will have a kind of a long cooldown, because it's gonna see it kind of has a long cooldown, but it sounds somewhat funny. Anyway, hey, Grey Pierre, thank you so much for the 20 months. Um, I am unsure yet. I kind of need to decide. Okay, maybe I'll leave it up to you. I don't usually do democracy so much, but here was my idea. Not next week. I'm busy next week. I have a bunch of stuff to do. Let me actually be a bit more concrete in the exact dates I'm talking about. So, the week from the 18th to the 24th, no. That's where I am. I need to do some other stuff. But I was thinking from the 25th to the 31, we could make that the getting good at normal Dota week. Where we just genuinely, seriously, with 100% effort and attention, grind normal Dota. And we like do our best to just get good at it and get ranking and then see how far we can get. You know, improve, improve, improve and do like, do like that. I'm not gonna do it for longer than that because I don't have the kind of energy for that. Do you want that? I think it might be fun for a week. It, might, it could also be miserable. Uh, there's like a few things I want to say though. Is I'm not gonna play solo. I'm not gonna play a single game solo. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. It's always gonna be with a group. Um, but other than that, yeah. I think it could be fun. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about it. We can give it a go. As far as I'm concerned, we can try it. Look. If it ends up being shit. If it ends up just being not fun. Right? If... Two days into it that I'm like, well, I want to die. Uh, then we stop. It's fine. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's perfectly acceptable. <clears throat> and if it ends up being really fun, then maybe we do more normal Dota again. But I'm open to possibilities. I kind of want to do a bit more normal Dota. Because I've said this many times now, right? But like one of my personal goals right now is to try and do collaborations with people. I want to work with other Dota talent and just kind of like talk to them and do things with them and play games with them and so on. But it's worth keeping in mind that well, most people do normal Dota. That's their thing. They play normal Dota. They like normal Dota. That's what their audience knows and so on. And as much as I can invite people to play custom games with me, I think there is also a certain other side to it where I, I need to kind of be ready to also meet reverse expectations where you know I invite them to play custom games they play custom games with me and we have a great time and then they invite me to play normal Dota with them and I need to be kind of prepared for that I need to not be a disaster like I've been in this game I know this was not my greatest performance okay But, you know, I think it's been fun. I was just using my creeps. I like my tanky faceless void. It's terrible, but that doesn't mean it's not fun. So these guys are just fucking pushing here. Hmm. I wish I... I wish my creep was here a bit sooner. Hmm. 
Oh no, they immediately dominated it. What do I do about this? All right. Well, we're fine. <laughs> we're just kind of healthy. Yeah, I have a creep. Ooh, where did this... All right, never mind. Lost track of the fella, but that's okay. We ended up kind of winning that. I think that worked out fine. What do we buy? Satanic? Satanic. Look, I'm just gonna keep tanking up. <laughs> That's my entire goal. I just need to be tanky. Ooh, wow. I mean, that was mostly the creeps. Alright, the creeps spawned in. They just slaughtered me. But still, that... That ended up going from, oh, they're not really dealing damage to, oh my god, I'm dead, very quickly. <laughs> hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you do, I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. It genuinely matters, and thank you. Also, I'm currently working on a cute little puzzle game called Sweet Dreams Alex. Please check it out on Steam, link below. If you like it, please wishlist it. Thanks. All right. Daughter time. If I may do, I've done this on stream a second ago, but here, for you YouTube folks as well. Here's my self-assessment of my Dota abilities. I am absolutely terrible at any sort of awareness. My mechanical skills are probably as bad as they're gonna get. <laughs> the only thing that I'm good at uh, is when I actually try and pay attention, my reactions. Like, I'm pretty okay at that, but that's just because I play other games where I have reaction speed as needed. All right, and I have a very, very limited understanding of the meta game, so I'm not very good at that either. However, here are my strengths, in my opinion. First, I like to believe I'm somewhat clever. Maybe I shouldn't, but you know, I think I can figure stuff out pretty quickly, so I should be able to learn pretty quickly. Second, if it comes to just like depth of Dota knowledge, I'm very strong. I know a lot about Dota. Not everything I know is not ne necessarily useful, but it is just a very significant quantity of stuff. <laughs> I just I just know a lot of things. Oh my god. Uh, no, wasn't able to get that. And that's something where not only my knowledge, my general knowledge of the game, but also my general understanding of Dota as a whole, I think is, is very high. Like, I think I know a lot about the game, but I also think I understand the game really well. So while I don't know much about the current meta, that's just because it's not a topic I have like really engaged with. But I can tell you about different metas, because that's subjects that I've actually researched, right? So yeah, that's uh, my self-evaluation there. I mean, y'all can tell me if you think I'm wrong, but I don't think I am that wrong. So, as far as I'm aware, mechanical skills, that's just practice. Meta knowledge, that's just research. Map awareness and general game awareness. That is something that takes time and is difficult. But can be practiced. All can be practiced. Everything can be practiced. Okay. There's one creep attacking me. Oh, thanks. Thanks, creep. I don't have Chrono! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I thought I had Chrono. <laughs> I was so excited. They were all there too. The entire team is right there on the spot. Yeah, it's just so hard to actually get in against all of these creeps. You know, they just kind of overwhelm you a bunch. 
I think I think they may have gotten us. We had some fun with our uh, creeps and chrono combos. Oh. See, that's what I said. Map awareness not that good. <laughs> um, we can work on the map awareness. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to do a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.